Hey guys, and welcome to my 36 week pregnancy update. I'm actually 36 weeks and 3 days today. Um, I wasn't able to update you guys the last couple weeks just with the holidays and stuff. It was kind of hectic. But um, yeah, I'm still pregnant and I actually have quite a bit to update on. So I'm just going to jump right in. So where I left off last, um, I actually had a doctor's appointment when I was 34 weeks and 5 days. And the doctor, it was kind of an odd appointment. The doctor was feeling my uterus, you know, feeling to see if the baby was head down. And um, as he was, you know, feeling, he he asked me, excuse me, um, how big were you when you were born? And I said, I was 8 pounds, 14 ounces, and I was born 10 days before my due date. And he kind of said, whoa. And he said, yeah, you're going to have a big baby. And I said, um, does he feel big? Because he said that as he was feeling my uterus. So I didn't know if he like felt that the baby was big and asked me, like, well, how big were you? But then he said no. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, then I asked him what my fundal height, which is um, how large my uterus was measuring, so I was 34 and 5 and I was measuring 36, he said, but he said that he wasn't concerned with that measure measurement because I was almost 35 weeks and, you know, it was only like a week off, so he wasn't um, concerned about that measurement. He also said some things like, you better hope you go early, when he comes out big, blame yourself not your husband because Trevor was 8 too. he said these things jokingly like not serious but I also asked him like why he thinks he's gonna be big and he said just um how big I was when I was born which I think is kind of silly because I know people that have had um that were large when they were born and their babies weren't as large so I do think he's gonna be like 8 pounds I don't think he's gonna be quite as big as I was but just the way the doctor like was talking with like left me feeling like confused. Like you're telling me he's gonna be big, but then you're telling me he doesn't feel big. Like there's nothing to indicate that he's actually big, but he's gonna be big because I was big. So I thought that was a weird appointment. Um, my next appointment is in three days. I will be 36 and six days, and I will update you guys on that and vlog it because we're getting our growth growth ultrasound and um, they will be able to estimate his weight just a little bit better. Um, I take the ultrasounds and the fundal height and everything with a grain of salt because I know that um, they could be off. I've seen like cases where they were really off and um, I know that they're not entirely accurate at all so it'll just be fun to see him and to see how big they think he's going to be when he's born. And, um, three four weeks so also my next um appointment we're doing the group b strep test which um the doctor's gonna swab me and test for group b if i am positive it's just um i believe it's a bacteria and if you have it, it's not a big deal they just give you antibiotics before you um deliver at the hospital like while you're in the hospital before you deliver you just get antibiotics so um i get tested for that and he will also check me um, for see if I'm dilated any I don't know I don't really expect to be dilated any it'll be nice to hear your one to two centimeters but I'm not expecting anything as long as he's not like your cervix is closed hard and high you know I just want something to be happening um, I know that checks dilation checks don't really mean anything you know, I know people that were one centimeter and the next day they go into full-blown labor and they dilate all the way to a 10 and I know people that are four to five centimeters for weeks and just don't go into labor. So I just, I at least want to be a little bit of something just to know that my body knows what it's doing, I guess. I think it'll just be like, I'll feel defeated if it's not absolutely nothing. Like, all right, does my body know it? I I know my body knows what it's doing, but it'll just be a bummer if not absolutely nothing has happened. 
but yeah, my, I'm really excited for my next appointment with the ultrasound. And with that, um, I will be thir 36 weeks and six days. So pretty much 37 weeks at that appointment. I have been noticing some days my Braxton Hicks are more frequent and um, not regular, but I just get them more often. And they kind of take my breath away when I get them. Like I could tell because a certain way I breathe. I don't know, it's hard to explain. They slightly take my breath away and then I'll feel my stomach and I'm, I'll feel that I'm having a Braxton Hicks. But they're not painful or anything like that. So they're not a legit contraction. So they are the practice contractions and I have been noticing that I do get them more frequently than I have in the past. Um, I get them at night. I notice them, especially if I like turn to the side, that usually brings one on. But yeah, like I said, I haven't had any painful contractions. I know Braxton Hicks contractions aren't supposed to change your cervix. So I'm not expecting my cervix to be dilated any just from those. We've also started getting his room set up. He will be co-sleeping um, in a bassinet next to our bed for a little bit and he might move into our bed. I don't know. Um, so it might be a little while before he's even in this room, at least six months. So, but I just wanted it kind of put together um, just for the sake of having a room ready when he's here. I don't know, does that sound weird? But anyway, I also got his hospital bag packed. Um, that's ready and I will grab it. So I got this for my baby shower. It's the um, Ojoy diaper bag and I just packed it full of his clothes. I know um, the babies don't really need much packed in their bag. Um, especially because I work at the hospital, so I know what we have at the hospital. And I've also got majority of my bag packs. I have um, a bunch of clothes. I have um, some breast pads. Um, i trying to think what else. Toiletries and stuff are all ready. Um, the only things I didn't throw in there yet are like bras and tank tops and stuff and like yoga pants I'm still wearing. Um, I'm not ready to like throw those in there yet and not use them until I give birth because it could be a, a few more weeks. So it's mostly put together just whenever I go into labor we just have to like throw some more things in my bag and Trevor has not done his bag yet which he will probably do at the last second <laughs> so yeah. Another exciting thing is we also, sorry my dog's like jumping on me, what's your problem? Another exciting thing is that um, we also did our maternity shoot a few days ago, um, almost a week ago. We still haven't got the pictures back, but when we do, I will post like a slideshow on YouTube for you guys to see all the nice pictures. We went to a park and did it, and we also went to the beach, and we got some really nice pictures, and I definitely want to hang some pictures up in his room when they are done. So I'm just waiting to get those pictures back but it was really a nice shoot like she was showing me the pictures as she was taking some of them and they really look beautiful so I can't wait to see how they turn out. Other than that I've been feeling good um, besides like the Braxton Hicks I'm also out of breath a lot but it's nothing too terrible. Um, I do have some slight pelvic pain like when I move in the bed a certain way on my left side so I get pain from that but it's nothing too awful so right now I'm not like dying for him to be born um, I want him to come when he's ready um, I wouldn't be mad if he came in the next week or two on his own I'm not doing anything to induce labor so um, but I'm hanging in there um, it is getting harder at work you know those 12 hour shifts especially when I'm on my feet I get out of breath but um, it's nothing too terrible his movements have been really um, noticeable lately. Like I'll feel them when I'm standing up. I'll feel them when I'm sitting down. Um, they just feel like not like kicks anymore, but I could actually feel like his foot and his butt when I press on my stomach and his head. So, so that's been really cool to experience. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Um, still pretty boring pregnancy. Knock on wood. I hope it stays like that. But. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly and then um, I will see you guys, 
I'm going to vlog our doctor's appointment. I will also do an update for you guys for my doctor's appointment and my 37 week update next week. So look out for that. All right, so excuse the dog hair. My dog was just climbing all over me as you saw. But here's my belly shirt down. Here it is from here. From this side. Here it is with shirt up. I feel like I've also dropped um, maybe even just a little bit. He's always been really high like up here. But I definitely feel like he's dropped lower. Especially when I exhale he kind of like drops down. You guys can see. Um, belly button still sticking out. My belly button ring is not a beautiful sight. And I still have these stretch marks on my sides. But no new ones yet. But I'm sure they're coming because my skin's been just so itchy here and up here. But yeah. So it looks like I'm right at 44 inches around. I feel like that's big. But I only have a few weeks left. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next update. Bye.